A subcritical flow is a slow-moving, tranquil flow in a channel, also called fluvial flow. It is best controlled from downstream, for example, by regulation structure or by some tailwater condition. In this photograph, the Brisbane River is controlled by the tidal condition in the Maritain Bay. A supercritical flow is a fast-moving, rapid free surface flow, also called torrential flow. It can only be controlled from upstream, for example, a steep spillway being regulated by a gate at the upstream end. The definition of sub- and supercritical flow is based upon the comparison between the water depth and the critical flow depth. The critical flow condition, DC and VC, occur when the specific energy is minimum. On assuming a hydrostatic pressure distribution, there is an exact relationship between the cross-section area, the free surface width, and the discharge at critical flow condition A cube over B equal Q square over G. An open channel flow is subcritical when the water depth is greater than the critical depth. Conversely, an open channel flow is supercritical when the water depth is less than the critical depth. These definitions are illustrated in the relationship between the specific energy and the water depth. This relationship presents a minimum for E equal mean. When the specific energy is greater than the minimum specific energy, there are two physical solutions, one for a subcritical motion and the other for a supercritical motion. When E equal mean, there is only one solution, critical flow. And when the specific energy is less than the minimum specific energy, there is no physically meaningful solution. In open channel flow, the fraud number is typically defined such as the fraud number equal unity at critical flow condition. Although there are other definitions, the one shown here is the most relevant to open channel flow. In a subcritical flow, the fraud number is less than unity. In a supercritical flow, the fraud number is greater than unity. When the water is close to the critical depth, that is for a fraud number between roughly 0.3 to 1.5 to 2.5, a small charge in specific energy can induce large changes in water depth. And some ondular flow motion may be observed, for example, as in the barrel or culvert. Such a flow motion is called transcritical flow or near critical flow with the photograph below showing an ondular flow in a minimum energy loss waterway with the arrows pointing to the wave crest of the undulations. The concept of sub- and supercritical flow, specific energy and critical flow conditions, are essential to the understanding of open channel hydraulics. They are discussed in the relevant YouTube video movie in the same playlist.